Rockies take the lead. Carmelo Anthony. Found the opening. And it's put down. Anderson had a pad down on the ice. The Broncos will have the football. Denver touchdown. Colorado Sports Connection. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Colorado Sports Connection. We're coming to you from Big Bill's New York Pizza in Centennial. I'm your host, Daryl Navarro, and today's guest, a member of the Orange Crush, Steve Foley. Steve, it's been a while since we last seen each other, and especially since your playing days. So tell the fans out there, what have you been up to since then? Well, uh, I was in uh, real estate, have been in real estate pretty much after, after I got out of football. And the real estate economy is pretty dead right now, so I'm using this time to get back in shape, uh, visit my grandkids, and uh, but I'm in real estate development. So now, one of the things I like to ask all my guests when they come on the show is, how did you end up in Colorado for the first time? I was drafted by the Denver Broncos, and uh, right out of college, didn't really want to play pro football. Uh, we got injured my senior year and um, missed the last six games of my senior year, and I thought football was over. So I, I didn't really have a, a dream to ever play pro football. But then I heard my name uh, on the on, on the news, getting drafted in the eighth round. And when when the scouts had come to Tulane to test and time guys, they asked me to run and and uh, and test. And I told them I wasn't interested. And so I never got. Uh, time that never got uh, weighed or anything, and uh, but Coach Ralston drafted me, and it kind of lit a fire under me. And said, you know, maybe I can do that. Maybe if I could do it, I'd, I'd do it for a couple of years, if I made it, and then go do something else. Because I always had a lot of different interests in business and different things like that. But 12 years later, after you after you get in there and you you get a taste of it, and you know, I was starting since I was a rookie. Um, I loved it, and I loved the guys that I played with, and uh, I loved Denver, and so it was. Uh, I played as long as I really wanted to. Now, before you came to Denver, you played one year in the World Football League. Yeah. What What transpired into that? Well, at that time, there were two leagues, um, and the World Football League offered me a no-cut contract, which back in those days was not much more than maybe ten thousand dollars difference. And, but they gave me a no-cut contract, and I was a quarterback in college, and they wanted me to play defense. So I didn't know how I would adjust to defense because I did not play defense in college. And um, I wanted a shot at quarterback, and they gave me about five days at quarterback, but I was a running quarterback. So I'd get back in the pocket and take off. Uh, they like them now. Uh, but back then, they wanted the, the big, strong, six foot three, 220-pound pocket passer that would just sit in there. Burt Jones, Terry Bradshaw, all these guys that could really sit in the pocket and big, strong arms, and that wasn't me. So I got a shot at defense and started as a rookie and um, loved it. And then you came over to Denver, what, was it 1976? It was 1976, and um, I had gotten drafted with Louis Wright, Reuben Carter, Rick Upchurch. Um, I think Bob Swenson was in that year. And uh, we, we, had a, we had a really good draft and a good group of guys. And, um, you know, I just I, I thought that the, that the World Football League would be a chance for me to hone any skills that I needed before going to the NFL. And their scouts, the Denver Broncos scouts, used to come watch me play. And after the games would say, you know, you could be playing for us right now, but I was happy where I was. And so I just... Uh, I, I just stayed there. When the league folded, Denver had my rights. I went there and uh, loved playing for Joe Collier and, and, um, and the different head coaches that we played for. What were your thoughts of going from being a quarterback and now you're going into the NFL playing defense? Well, you know, I'm, I'm from a family of 13, Daryl. And if you, just by sheer size, I was the seventh child. I was right in the middle. So there was a lot of jockeying going on, a lot of... Uh, call it, uh, you know, some trash talking in, in a big family like that. So competition was natural uh, to me. And, uh, you know, I thought, hey, uh, I'll give it a shot. Nothing to lose. And uh, so I wasn't, wasn't totally in, in awe of it. So I just did what I could. Now, we, we've got about 30 seconds before we have to take a break. But when you were at Tulane, it was at one time you were the quarterback. Now, your two brothers also played there as well? And was one a center and one a wide receiver? One was a, a center, although he wasn't a starter, but he did play quite a bit. 
and uh, he was my great protector. You didn't, if, if guys were getting to me or something like that, he would shake the rest of the linemen up. But my other brother was my starting wide receiver. And in some games, we would have Foley to Foley to Foley, and Sports Illustrated did a little, a little uh, story on us in college. And um, I love my brother and I would throw for hours in the summer, and I, I could just throw to his feet. I knew every break he was making, and um, we had a great time in college. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, I want to talk about some of your years there at Tulane. We'll continue our talk with Steve Foley right here on Colorado Sports Connection.